We've all come across people we don't like. Whether they're at work, what? in our social circles, oh. they might even be our in-laws. That's true, but according to our next guest, there are some clever things you can do to get along with individuals who really grind your gears. People management specialist Karen Gately joins us again. Karen, great to see you. Why is it we find some people difficult <laughs> to get along with? Well, as you say, we're all different. You know, we have different values, we have different preferences, um, you know, different characters that, that mean that sometimes it can be difficult for us to actually create connections and, and just understand each other, let alone actually get along and, and be, you know, friends. Yeah, it's really hard to understand. So, Karen, your, your first tip is to choose your attitude. So talk yeah. us through that. Well, that's mostly about the fact that that's all we can control. You know, we, we don't get to control other people's attitudes and, and behaviours. We can only choose our own approach to life to, to have a positive influence. So obviously the other person's attitude does matter. Um, but, but the only control I say is, is around how you choose to think. So, you know, reflect on how often you um, entertain in your own mind conversations with people that haven't really happened yet. You know, do you participate in those arguments in preparation? For, for seeing them. You know, we spend a lot of time thinking um, about issues and, and people and it's um, really not serving us, let alone our relationship with them. That's well, true. That's right. I mean, because you say that sometimes people should pick their battles. <laughs> Why yes. is that time? Exactly right. You know, it's important to, to set boundaries around what you will or won't accept from people. So, you know, we, we shouldn't uh, allow people, for example, to bully us or, or treat us in ways that, that are unhealthy. Um, but sometimes there are things that they do that are irritating um, just because we are different. And, and so we need to let some things go through the keeper and, and choose the things that we actually uh, want to then take issue with rather than just everything that annoys us. Tip number four, Karen, is judge carefully. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, again, sometimes, you know, people are just uh, doing things that are different to us um, as opposed to right or wrong. But also sometimes we have unconscious biases and, and judgments um, that, you know, are the filters through which we actually perceive other people. So, so we do need to make sure that we're not bringing baggage, for example, from the past as well and, and expecting people to behave in ways just because we've seen it once before. So understand when you're being judgmental, understand, you know, the extent to which that's fair and, and really challenge your own thinking. I think you're right, and I think the last thing you recommend is <laughs> building bridges. Don't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So building bridges is about rapport, you know, it's about actually finding ways where you can actually get along with somebody because there's at least something, for example, that you have in, in common. Um, so, you know, taking the, the step to actually demonstrate to that person that you are interested in, in you know, finding ways to at least get along. So, so things that you both have in, in common is a, a safe starting place. All right, Karen, well, thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> Thank you.